One day while I was walking down the streets in my neighborhood, I saw a Buddhist monk spreading the word of Buddha. If you don't know what monks looks like, here are some pictures. The, uh, the monk I met was spreading the word of Buddha and meditating. I immediately thought about a Buddhist movie I watched on the TV last night. The monks in the movie look very calm and peaceful. They can usually live up to a hundred years or even more. I wondered if this has to do anything with their daily routine. So I decided to do my TED talk on Buddhism's effect on the body. First, I'm going to talk about meditation. Here's the definition of meditation from the Oxford Dictionary. Focus one's mind for a period of time in silence or with the aid of chanting, for religious or spiritual purposes or as a method of relaxation. According to the BBC, meditation is important in all branches of Buddhism. It can help clear the mind so that negative thoughts of anger or hatred can be replaced with positive ones of loving kindness and peace. By meditating frequently, Buddhists hope to develop insight and wisdom, helping them to see the true nature of things. Now you guys might still be thinking that this is still some kind of religious stuff and it has nothing to do with science. However, you are wrong. Science has proven that meditation does have positive effect on your body. According to SciCentral.com, meditation can affect four parts of your brain. It can affect the gray matter, which is in control of muscle control and sensory perception, the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for decision making, the amygdala, which controls emotional response, and the hippocampus, which, which is in control of memory and learning. <clears throat> in other words, you will have better muscle control, send things around you better, make better decisions, control emotions better, have better memory, and learn better if you meditate frequently. One of the teachings of Buddha prohibits Buddhists from taking life away from any animal or human. According to Healthline.com, Buddhists follow a lacto-vegan diet. Buddhists are allowed to consume animal products as long as the animal is not slaughtered in the process. Now, here are some examples of what Buddhists can or cannot eat. They can drink milk. They can eat cheese. However, they cannot eat any pork. <clears throat> so, you might be thinking, what are the benefits of a Buddhist diet other than religious purposes? Is it unhealthy if you don't eat any meat? Well, according to Healthline.com, the Buddhist diet provides important compounds such as antioxidants, phytochemicals, vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Studies show that, of, studies show that following a balanced lacto-vegetarian diet may help improve heart health, promote blood sugar control, aid weight loss, and reduce your risk of certain types of cancer. In conclusion, even though you might not believe in the Buddhist religion, you should still try the Buddhist meditation and the Buddhist diet because it is scientifically proven to have a positive impact on your body. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk.